Now, Miss Dorothy, lesson this afternoon is looking at the risks associated with drugs. For the past three years, this has become a regular scene in primary schools in Harrow. These Year 5 pupils are learning about drugs and how to keep safe thanks to the MissDorothy.com learning program. Initially launched in South Yorkshire, Harrow schools and their pupils have really adopted the system and its simplicity makes it very popular. The children work through books, have question and answer sessions and work together in breakout groups to discuss what they've learnt. Teachers say it really works. Certainly, if I said to the, my class tomorrow, right, that's it, we're not doing Miss Dorothy anymore, we're covering PSHE in a different way, I think they would be generally quite upset about it. Because I think a lot of them have emailed her on the website and they do look at the games and the activities on there and I think they have that relationship with these characters that allows them to express themselves that perhaps, perhaps they wouldn't otherwise. Harrow's Director of Children's Services, Paul Clark, has been a strong supporter of the MissDorothy.com program and has funded it for all the borough's primary schools for three years. But why? Well, what it's done is touch the hearts and minds, not just of the children and young people, but of members of their families when they go home and talk about it, and of teachers who, every day they're in front of a, of a group of children trying to get information across. And what I've got back from them is this brings back that excitement and humour and engagement, which is why they joined teaching in the first place. So it's quite a, an all-consuming piece of work. The success in Harrow has become a blueprint which has now got the notice of the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson. In April, at the launch of the Mayor's Fund for London, the Miss Dorothy Learning Scheme was formally recognised as one of the fundamental planks of his strategy. The fund was established by Boris Johnson to help some of the capital's most disadvantaged families. The idea is to persuade businesses to invest in schemes that will help change people's lives. During the launch, the mayor invited pupils from Weald Middle School in Harrow to talk about the benefits of using Miss Dorothy. We have come today to discuss the beneficial effects that MissDorothy.com has on children. We feel that Miss Dorothy expresses dangers in the real world in a more child-friendly way so that kids can get the message. The initial pilot will be centred around Shoreditch, but it's hoped it will eventually roll out across the whole of London. So why did the mayor choose the Miss Dorothy programme as one of the main parts of his fund? Why are you supporting the Kids Task Force as part of your mayor's fund? Because it's vital to keep kids in school and you keep them in school if they feel safe in school. So Miss Dorothy and the Kids Task Force and operations like that are absolutely vital uh, to give kids the security to keep learning. Because if they don't keep learning, they won't make up the ground and they won't get the jobs they need. The rollout throughout the pilot area to 108 primary and secondary schools of the Watch Over Me and Miss Dorothy programmes is part of the London Safe tranche of the Mayor's Fund and is led by the Kids Task Force and supported by the Metropolitan Police. To be really effective, Miss Dorothy has to reach all young people in London and it's our ambition that we support the, the, the Miss Dorothy to actually reach all young people. By only doing that, you, you actually make all young people feel safe and you can start to drive down the, uh, the risk of young people getting involved in crime. Clearly this is a huge achievement for the Kids Task Force. To be such an important part of a major mayoral policy proves it's succeeding in making kids safe. And it's been chosen because it does work. We won't put something in unless it's proven that it really works. Kids Task Force, Miss Dorothy and Watch Over Me really work. We've looked at it, we've explored it, we've talked to kids who experienced it and it's going to make a big difference in this square mile around Shoreditch. Being part of the Mayor's Fund is a major boost for the Kids Task Force aim to get the programme to every child in the UK by 2010.